Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I want to talk about something that has not really been covered or talked about, and it's a short clip of a screen in the background of the little World War II developer documentary that we saw yesterday during the reveal of the game. But the clip is going to be on screen for you guys right now, and it shows a character within World War II doing some sort of a dashing animation. Now, as for the gameplay, I don't know if this is actually multiplayer or just campaign, but I'm pretty sure that it's just campaign gameplay because the heads-up display doesn't really resemble the typical Call of Duty layout. Like, there's no mini-map, there's no indication that tells you how much ammo you have just there's a lot of features from the standard multiplayer uh, heads up display that every Call of Duty game has that is not in this little screen right here so I definitely do think that this is campaign gameplay now at first a part of me really wanted to say that the character might have gone through like some sort of an indention in the ground maybe from like a tank projectile but then I went ahead and played some advanced warfare last night and I found that the exo dash animation is a lot similar to this standard dash you're gonna see on screen right now so uh, I'm gonna play a side-by-side -side comparison of the two on screen right now and it is shocking how similar the animation is just from the way the guy moves his hands and the gun as well. So as of right now, I do feel that we are going to have a movement mechanic similar to the Exo Dash, but I don't know, in the clip from the World War II reveal trailer, the animation looks a little bit more slowed down from the Exo Dash, but not by a whole lot, just a tiny bit. And uh, just I do think that this new dashing or strafing or sidestep, whatever you want to call this, is going to be in the game, not only for campaign, but also for multiplayer. And honestly, I really wouldn't mind that too much. I really wouldn't be too upset with that because I do feel that the Exo Dash back in AW added a new style of gun-on-gun -gun combat to the table and watching pro players implement the advanced movement into their play style was very entertaining for me so that is one thing I do kind of feel that advanced warfare did right it really was entertaining to watch pro players play back in uh, for UMGs or game battles or even for uh, competitive LAN events so I, I really wouldn't mind too much having this little sidestep or whatever you want to call this animation in the game but uh, again it is not confirmed that we are going to have this in multiplayer but like I said a part of me really does think that this guy is going through like a little crater in the ground but then another part of me does think that this slide animation is going to be uh, a new movement mechanic for World War II but again I really wouldn't mind that too much because I, again I do feel that this could also eliminate camping for one and also make it very entertaining to watch you know for uh, pro players or just any gameplay but uh, say that if there's a guy camping in the corner then you can pretty much do this little dashing animation and catch him off guard and kill him so again I really do feel that the dashing movement mechanic system would be a good thing for uh, for gameplay and also for uh, for just overall making it a lot more easier to play the game and and uh, if you do manage to master this dashing movement, then you can honestly do pretty well in the game. So, uh, again, those are my thoughts, guys. What do I think about this, guys, down in the comments? Do you guys think that this is, in fact, a new movement mechanic system to World War II? Uh, I want to know your thoughts down in the comments, guys. Also, drop a like if you guys did enjoy. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. I'm a very so the day. Till next time, I'll catch you guys later.